Hello guys and welcome to the Music Empire. I believe by the grace of God we are all doing well. Since we are getting ready to launch our upcoming praise course, we want to do as much worship uh, stuff, worship songs and stuff related to worship as much as possible. And mostly with reference to the contemporary uh, gospel course that we released earlier. In today's lesson, we want to take a look at AZ by Nathan Yabasi. But you see, from the cover, you can clearly see that we were doing a lot of... It was simple, but we were doing a lot of course substitutions and all that. So we are coming to break down these chords and approaches. All the chords that are used are referenced from the contemporary gospel course that's available on our website. If you want to understand how these chords are constructed and why I even came up with such chords for this very simple song, I will encourage you to get the contemporary gospel course on our website musicempire.com. So without much talking, let's get started. Today's lesson will be in the key of E flat. So let's quickly check the scale of E flat. E flat is our one, F is our two, G is our three, then A flat is our four, B flat is our five, C is our six, and then D is our seven. And then to the E flat, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Okay. Now, if you pay close attention, you realize that I've changed the tone I was using. In the cover, I was using an EP, right? And over here, I'm just using a grand piano. I, I'm, I've intentionally done it this way so that we, we all can detect a difference in sound with the same chords, whereby one is an EP and then one is a grand piano. So you can tell me your feel concerning these two tones in the comment section as you watch this video. Okay, so let's get started. Now, AZ is a very common song. I believe we have all heard it before. If you have never heard it before, just type AZ, E Z E by Nathaniel Bassi. The song will pop up. It's a very simple song with a very simple progression. The progression to the song is actually one, one, two, three, four, and five. You see? So just one, two, three, four to the five that's the whole song one two three four five that's all but in the cover you realize that there, there was more than one two three four five stuff going on with a lot of passing chords right so on the one so i remember i had, i started by using ruthless voices which went like So now that I've played this intro again with a grand piano, how does it feel compared to the EPs I used in the cover? So let's get started. Like I said, these are ruthless voicings and they have all been taught into details in the contemporary gospel. How you are even able to form such such chords? Okay. Basically, what I was doing was over the five, right? To the one. So on the five, which is so I had um this A flat major seventh chord on my left hand, which was what? The four, six, one, and then three. Okay, with an octave. And then this one included. So I have five, one, five on my right hand. So and I played this song very very melodically, right? So to the one. So this is over the one. Yeah. So I have three, five, seven. And then three five seven three. Okay, this is your one chord, and this is a G minor chord. It's a G minor chord, but it has been spread to look so plenty, right? Yeah. So we have um, then yeah. So I did. So you can just play these two notes by by themselves, which is three five, and then two your two. And then to your two. So over the on the two on my left hand, I have the two, four, six, one. Okay. And on my right hand, I have six, one, four. Six, one, four. Two. So from here, I'll spell the melody alone 
which is what three one two okay so uh, then to the three now this is what I have on my three I have the two flat six and one and then with the same octave on my left on my right hand again the same octave so five one five this over the three so you see indirectly i'm showing you chords you can play on the five a chord you can play on the two a chord you can play on the one and now i have a chord you can play on the three if you want to do retest voices okay to the four now on the four i still have the same a flat major seven which is the four six one three over six one four Remember earlier we attached this chord to this one, to the answer two, and I'll attach it to the four. Combining all of what you have learned so far to be. Now we have already done this two, which is what? The two, four, one. Uh, so we have already done this two, which is the two, four, six, one, over four six two now this is over over your two as well okay so you have this one over your two as well so we already know this chord this a flat chord so then we play this a flat chord on our right hand to this one now this over the five okay it's like a one chord but with the five bass notes so i have the three five one three five one three okay See, I have three five one three five one three, but mind you, this is over the five bass notes. So if you look at this carefully, we have covered the one, two, three, four, five, right? So this is five, one, two, three to the four. Now this is five. Basically, we have, we, have, we have done, but I didn't end the song back on the one like how the original song goes. Like, I ended it on the six, so um, this is what I did. So, let's learn this beautiful six. On my left, I have the six, three, one, and on my right hand, I have the A flat source two, which is what um, four, five, one. Okay. Yeah. So this is a grace note from the A flat to the B flat using these two fingers, which is what the index finger and the long finger. So then at the time we play the G back to the A flat, whilst the E flat note or the pinky finger is maintaining the E flat note throughout what I'm doing. So so try it over the six bass notes. Okay, so. Then to our seven. I like this beautiful seven. Now over the seven, I have the seven octave. Now I intentionally decided to play octaves on my left hand, just so even by watching the cover, you may not be lost with the ruthless voices. Now I know in the contemporary course, I taught that when there's a bass guitarist, you don't have to be playing octaves. But this is for educational purpose. I wanted you to see what I'm doing on my left hand. That's why I did that. Okay. So on the seven, I have the seven octave, and then on my right hand, I have a B flat, it's like a B flat source two. Sorry, it's like an, an F source four combined with a B flat source two. So I have in the A flat in the E flat scale, I read it as two five six two. Okay, over well, your seven. So this is your T or seven. So from the six, which is your La. Seven. Then come to this five. And now we are using this five to read the melody. Okay. So I have five, two, four. And on my right hand I have six, one, three, five. Okay. Yeah. Now this is a B flat thirteen source two source four chord. Okay. Now to the one. Now this one. It's basically a normal one. Do you remember we played this one? That's the same thing we are playing over here. Do you remember this one? That's the same one we are playing. This, but this time we have added the the bass note instead of the chord. So the same chord. But one interesting thing you can do.
to substitute this one or, or to take over the place of this one is to bring or uh, take take this B flat uh, up to the B okay and then now take this E flat up to the E but remember this is still seven as a one so this is a perfect substitute for the one so instead of doing uh, like the A is the melody kind of so we could do it is the same A is the, you see yeah just by see bringing these two up not down up so now from here we can do some passing chords like this now whoever here has watched this lesson i made on how to uh, play around with this diminished seventh chord and try to 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 get an even more unique sound this is exactly what i'm doing over here so like the the a is a then you are i'm using the many seventh chords to read them so so on the on the u I have the E diminished seventh chord, which is the flat two, three, five, flat seven, flat two, three, five. Wow, it's many. But if you look at it carefully, you can clearly see that uh, there's a lot of repetition going on here. And this chord is beautiful to play, and it's not difficult at all. So, so you just do. You see. Take a look at my my real hands, not the software. My real hands, carefully. We have okay. So that's the same chord, but then I'll play this, and then my left hand will switch from the E to the G, which is a flat two to the three, and then I'll take my hand off this pinky, this thumb. I'll take my hand off this B flat over here. Come and place it here, okay. Whilst playing the G note or the three, so. So the whole chord is, but I'll do it like this to here. Okay, so you are so so it's, it's fitting that you are right. Then to the two, you have learned this A flat chord. Now look at how I'm playing the two now because I'm using bass notes. So if you want to turn this two into, into a chord, we have already dealt with it. We played the two like this, but this time because I'm over here, I want to. Play the bass note so two six four okay over the A flat chord so then then to your three now over the three I have uh, three seven two over a B flat major chord which is what five seven two five okay yeah so. Let me show you one, one more thing you can do here. So far we have done this. Um, then there was this in the song as well. So they are all passing chord to the three. Instead of going to the three straight away, you can do this. So take it as a, a passing chord to your three, right? Um, yeah, you can even forget about this song and then take it as a passing chord to the three. So, so from the two, then you go to your flat, your minor third. Now the minor third, I, I have a G flat or an F sharp diminished seventh chord, which means that I can even include this A note. If I understand diminished seventh chord carefully, you see that I can include this A note, and it's still the same F sharp or G flat diminished seventh chord. So I have in the scale of E flat, this will be your minor third flat three, flat five, six, one, flat three, flat five. So you play your two, then okay. So you play your two, then you play. Now, one chord I love playing is the seven. This is what the seven. So it's like a seven to the three. So it's like minor third to the seven to your three. 
So you can forget about this song if you want a progression that goes to the three. You can just do to the four, you see? Or to the six. Okay, so So on the seven, I have the seven itself for this dry tune. So I have the the the, the, the minor third and the, and the six, right? So seven flat three six over the five chord, which is uh, two five seven. But this over the seven bass note. So then I do to the B flat chord. Remember. We play this over B flat because it's the same. If I do it this way, it's still the same. Okay, so we have so still the same thing. So from here, I take it to the four. So you see, we have made the calculations up to the four at this level, right? With pass and pass on chord. So one, then two. So so one, then two, then to the three. Now we can do one more passing chord to the four, which is. So this is this is a uh, uh, so my this is over the one. This is your do a do chord. Okay. Now if you're not careful, if you don't understand ruthless voices, you may think I'm starting from the C sharp. No, this is an E flat chord. On my, on my left I have the flat seven, the three, and the six. Over six, what's it? Over three, six, one. So we have this over your one to the four. To put the four, I have the four octave on my left. And on my right, I have six, one, three, six. Okay. So we have gotten to the four then. Uh, so from here, if you want to go to the five, you can just do a two to the five. Now let me show you this beautiful two. Okay. F minor seven flat five chord. We have the two four. If you like, you can add a six at the middle here, the C note. Okay, two four. And then I have flat six, one, two, four on my right hand. So, so this is normally a two to your five. Now on the five, do you remember we, we played a one? Like this over the five. So I'm playing the one over the five, but this time with different inversion. So I have five, one, three, five. Over the five base notes. Yeah, so guys, this lesson has come has been able to combine ruthless voices as well as left hand base notes all together so that you will understand what is going on with the left hand. And then towards the end of the song, I did something weird but still maintaining the same progression. So the song actually is, is just what Then you are done with the song technically, but, but over here, and um, the oh, so that melody, right? It's so for the two to the five. I did something weird over there. I, 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 I discarded the progression and then came up with my own progression and melody. So this was like. Let me show you the difference between this one and the original one. So, um, you see? Now, this was mine. Yeah, so let's take our time and go through all this. I'm telling you, this blessing is just an extension of the contemporary gospel course. All the things we did in the contemporary gospel course, so this is an extension of it. So please get our contemporary gospel course if you haven't. It will really help you a lot. So we have. 
So I have like two, five, one, seven, three, six, two, five. It's more like I was playing around with circular foot, you see. So let, let's start. On the two, I have the two, one on my left and on my right, and I have three, four, six, one. And on the five, so there's an F minor ninth chord. And now I have the same chord on the five, which is the B flat minor ninth chord. So on the five, I have the five, two, four, six, plus seven, two. Okay, it's the same chord. This 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 should tell you that if you really understand minor ninth chords, you can do a lot with it. And then this is E flat minor eleventh chord. Yeah. So all these concepts have been taught. Right, so we have the E flat, the one, five, and then the flat three, the minor third, and then five plus seven, two, four. So you see how powerful minor chords are. And this is D minor eleven. So E flat minor eleven to D minor eleven or the seven minor eleven. Okay. It's a very heavy chord. So I have so it's just a matter of taking this whole thing down by a symptom. Bring this whole chord down by a symptom. You get your D minor 11th chord. So from here, we go to the 3. Now, the 3 is what? Your G, right? This is a G 7th flat 13th chord. So I have the G or the 3, 7, 2 versus. Um, flat six one three on my right hand okay so uh, then this this is a c minor ninth chord so i've done a lot of minor ninth and minor eleventh chords in this transition so i have the uh, six three one and then i have five seven one three so This is an F dominant ninth chord, which is what the two and a one. Then I have the flat five, one, three. Okay, so two, one, and then flat five, one, three. So, uh, so this melody stands on its own. Then we have to a B, the B flat minor ninth chord again. The same B flat minor ninth. This time, you see, there's a B flat here. I've brought it here just to fit with the melody, okay? So the same chord, the same B flat minor ninth chord. So, so, these are just melodies, that's all. Instead of four, I have the A flat major ninth chord, the four major ninth chord. I think you have done this chord. Right, but we play it over the five. This time I'm playing the same chord over the four. So three, six, two, then. So guys, this is pretty much the whole lesson. We have done a whole lot in this lesson. And I'm telling you, everything I've done here is just an extension of what was taught and demonstrated in the contemporary gospel course. We have learned all these chords. We have learned how to construct them and how to apply them in different music. This is just one of the songs that we are applying these chords in. Okay. And still, anticipate our praise and our Ghana praise and high life course is coming very, very soon. That's why I want to do as much worship songs as we can before when the, before the praise comes. Because when the praises comes, it's full on praise uh, lessons that will go on for a while as well. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification so that you won't miss any important updates. And also, please share for others to be blessed as well. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I know you have a lot of homework to do from this from the course that we have done, and I know that God is with you. God will truly bless you. Let's meet in our next lesson.